going on everyone this is jacob amaral here in today's video we're going to be talking about capital efficiency and why i think everyone should use it uh, when it comes to investing in the markets and specifically with algo trading and automated trading systems so basically what capital efficiency is when you're making investments in the market right and you want to diversify your investments generally you have um, some type of budget you want to use right you have an account size some people want to use all of their account size some may only use 80 percent of their account 90 percent of your account whatever the value is but basically you want to make sure that money is always working right that's the goal with investing you're putting your money to work if you left all your money in a checking account or under your mattress it's going to lose value over time because of inflation right the government prints money every year and generally at the end of the year your money is worth like you know less than one or two percent right so it's decreasing every year you want it to put it to work as much as possible so when you're building trading systems and you're investing in the market you know to be successful you need to diversify right you can't just put all your money into um one uh, particular asset because that's very risky right incredibly risky and you may have a higher reward but a lot of risk and a lot of people can't tolerate that so when you're diversifying um you have a you know generally some type of budget some type of either account size or budget you want to use right so in this excel sheet here i have an example um our account size is ten thousand dollars okay so that's how much we're starting with so say we have a trading system uh hypothetically and at the start of the day it buys um symbol xyz right order number one it buys symbol xyz the current price is trading at is ten thousand dollars just to make it simple uh, so we're going to buy 10 shares, right? And that'll use all of our account size, right? Or our budget, whatever you want to call it. So it buys it at 9.30 a.m. That's awesome. So right now we're we're in our whole budget, right? We um, don't have any extra cash to spare. Now our, our algo trading system says, hey, um, we want to buy ABC at 10 a.m. You know, maybe some some of the logic for the bot hit and it wants to buy. But obviously we don't have enough money to, to buy it because we've used all of our money, our $10,000 on XYZ, because we bought 10 shares at $1,000. So instead, what with, with capital efficiency, basically what we would do is you would sell five shares of XYZ, right? So you would free up $5,000, right? Half of the, half of the um, portfolio is now allocated to that. So we'd sell five shares at, um, just once again, to make it simple, 1,000. So we'd sell that first, and then we'd enter the new position of ABC. And we'd enter five shares at a thousand dollars so now we have five thousand allocated to xyz and five thousand allocated to abc right and this is basically what capital efficiency is and what i use currently in, in a lot of my trading systems where you know i will generate a strategy right for one symbol right and then i will try and diversify and, and use that same strategy with other symbols and and see if um or other assets to be more uh, technical to see if they perform and there's some edge and there's some alpha and if there is then i run it with uh like a group setting where i can um my my, my capital efficiency logic will, will run with all of those symbols okay so now we're in five shares of abc and five shares of xyz and we're putting all of our money to work right our account size was ten thousand dollars all of it is is in those positions which is great right we're putting it to work right we're we're maximizing the work that it can do so it can hopefully generate us uh, an edge, right? We can't guarantee it, but hopefully it will. Say then um, 11 a.m. hits, and now we want to, our, our, our trading system says, hey, we need to buy more shares of a different stock now or a different asset because our logic says so. So now what we got to do is we got to sell two shares of XYZ to make room. We also have to sell two shares of ABC to make room, right? So we sell two shares at 1,000 for XYZ, two shares of ABC as well. And then we would buy, I guess we technically we'd buy four shares, not three. Um, obviously this would be an, an odd number, but um, say we bought three shares of DEF at a thousand. And now we have, technically we'd have three shares of each. So three of XYZ, three of ABC and three of DEF, right? And, and now we're, we're our, our portfolio is equally distributed between those three symbols and all of our money is put to work, okay? So this is fantastic because it allows us to diversify and put all of our capital to work, right? If we just traded 10 shares of XYZ, um, you know, our risk is a lot higher because we're only in one asset, right? And it's it's correlated, right? There's there's nothing to compare it with. So basically it's, it's our performance is based on that one asset. But now, you know, by 11 a.m. of that day, now we have three assets using the same capital 
and and all diversified so uh this is pretty much capital efficiency at its best and um it's a system that you should definitely add into your trading systems um obviously i have it coded in with my trading systems and logically basically what it does is um you can set a budget right you set an account size and then uh if it's the first order for a no position if it's the first order it will use the all of the available budget right and then if another order comes in it will check its existing positions and and how much net value each position is and will simply sell the amount of shares just like what you're seeing on the excel sheet it will sell the amount of shares needed to make room for that new symbol okay and it just does that on repeat so if we have say 10 positions um you know it can divide it by 10 and of course the net value also in addition if we're entering two symbols at the same time it will actually you know pre-divide the quantity or it will know the correct quantity uh of each at the same time instead of just you know going over our budget essentially so um in my case it's a little bit tougher because i also trade futures which are a derivative and of course they're leveraged and you need margin so i actually have to take it a step further and, and check the margin requirements for each contract that it's trading with and use that to divide the, the quantity as well so this does get a little bit more complicated if you're trading derivatives like futures and options um, because now you need to know how much margin is needed to enter that position and um you know make sure you have enough cash to to cover that and also have a lot of wiggle room so you don't get a margin call um so that my, my system also has that on top with stocks is a little bit easier but um this is a great way to um have on top of your already existing uh, great strategies because you know it you know reduces your risk um it will um assuming that the strategy is performing well uh your performance will increase because um you know ba basically the only way it would do worse is if the initial symbol the first asset that you say you picked in the strategy outperforms everything in that case then yeah it would be better just to be in that one asset um to outperform it but then you know your, your risk is just way higher right you're, you're just relying on one asset so i always recommend definitely you know creating a strategy back testing it of course trying it out of sample and if it performs on one simple try on other ones and see if they also perform and then basket them together so it's trading multiple um, assets and then you can apply this capital efficiency to, efficiency code to that basically it's going to reduce your risk does it have the potential of reducing your returns because of that maybe because if they all don't perform or if one performs really badly then it can bring everything down but at the end of the day you're going to be reducing your risk and i think it's worth it in the long run because what becomes more important is obviously your return at the end of the day and how much you're returning year over year but reducing your risk as much as possible so as you add more capital to it it's less of a headache right so anyways this is a, a, a very simple capital efficiency example um i wanted to kind of change it up with this video and show you a bit more of a you know one of my processes that i use to to, to generate strategies and to have confidence in the markets um instead of showing you you know how do you code this or how do you code this um sometimes i want to show you these examples where you can actually i guess more of the financial aspect of things and less of the, the the programming but this capital efficiency kind of logic is, is a great way to um not only use in algo systems but you could use it just in everyday investing right if you're say putting all your money into the s p 500 um you know try you know maybe taking half of it selling half of it and putting their half into something uncorrelated right and and that would be a simple capital efficiency example where you're putting the same capital to work just in multiple assets essentially um but yeah i, I found some decent success with this i've been running this for about a, a month and once again it's not a strategy it's not like a capital efficiency strategy it's just you know it's lay it's code layered on uh, logic layered on top of my already existing strategies that i generate that it knows that um okay i need to sell xyz uh to make room for abc for example but anyways leave a comment below if you find value in these if if you would use this capital efficiency example um and if you don't any other tips you have for diversifying or reducing your risk i would love to hear them and um, i'll answer all my comments below for sure um, but anyways yeah i wanted to switch it up in this video and kind of provide a different aspect of things so anyways i hope you found value and we'll see you next week guys bye